are talking the movie The Darkness, which is also known as Dorcha. I have to say, even though I don't really know what Dorcha means, it's a bit of a better title than the generic sounding The Darkness. And uh, this one stars Amelia Eve and is written and directed by Thorne Mohan. And I would say it's a kind of throwback to a Hammer-esque, Amicomist style, classic kind of haunting ghost story. So we have this, uh, this couple that moved to this old house, which was uh, given to the, the guy in an inheritance. And it's an old property and there seems to be some kind of history with it. There maybe have, has been occupied 100 or so years ago by a family that may have been up to some sinister stuff. Let me just put it like this. And um, the, the woman is kind of like, in modern times, sort of investigating it because her, her, kind of like her partner is constantly kind of doing work and it's a bit of a workaholic. And... Um, Amelia Eve, who plays Lisa, our kind of our main character, you know, ends up becoming kind of in affected by the kind of the ghosts of the past. And uh, there seems to be a, a bit of a mystery about what happened. And we kind of have a local people that kind of get involved at the same time. So, what will happen? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. So let's talk about what works, first of all, in the darkness. Well, uh, I will say that I do think... Amelia Eve as Lisa is pretty good here. She was actually from The Haunting of Bly Manor, um, which was obviously a pretty well-respected kind of horror miniseries. And I think she proves here that she's obviously a, a, a very good actress in regards to, I would say, this genre kind of cinema, playing a, um, you know, a waif-like kind of character who, you know, is, is a good person at heart, but kind of gets, you know, gets kind of affected by these kind of supernatural and paranormal entities. I thought the performance was very good. And as the movie kind of goes on, her kind of, her, you know, her character becomes more kind of erratic and uh, obviously influenced by these kind of paranormal forces. I thought that she did a good job there. I think the movie has an interesting um, mystery element to it about kind of what has been gone on. And we do have some extended flashbacks a uh, hundred or so years ago that will kind of give you some idea about maybe the circumstances which have led to this kind of like this paranormal activity and it's somewhat of an intriguing story in regards to um what has happened and, and it, like i said it has almost i was reminded of like classic literature style ghost stories uh, and in a way the sort of like the hammer movies uh, and amicabeth films th things like this a slower paced kind of uh, horror mystery really where you know you peel back the layers to reveal kind of what's happened um what doesn't work in this movie? Unfortunately, I think this movie is quite dull. Um, there's been quite a, a few of these kind of haunting, old fashioned style haunting movies that I've seen in recent years. And I think they uh, probably play well to a certain audience, maybe an older audience. But I've got to be honest with you, I think they uh, intrinsically are a little bit kind of dull in, in some places. And I just don't think there is a huge amount of, um, of kind of excitement to these movies and obviously that's the point it's not meant to be in a, you know a slam bam thank you ma'am sort of style film but the, the the pace of the film and the kind of the reveals are, are quite at a slow rate and you kind of just want sometimes the movie to really kind of get a move on and i have to be honest with you i think the extended uh flashbacks didn't help because i, I don't think they needed to be uh, quite as long. In fact, some of them I didn't even think needed to be there at all because we actually learn pretty much in the kind of the modern kind of eras about what has happened. So to be honest with you, the kind of the, the flashback scenes seem kind of redundant, I'll, I'll be honest. Effects work is pretty minimal here. Um, it's a don't be expecting anything too kind of flashy on, on the screen. And I'll be honest with you, without kind of spoiling anything, I don't know if the... Um, the mystery was all that intriguing when it when it came down to it. I think the the idea here is kind of fairly basic. It, to be honest with you, it's not something that is oh wow that was clever. It was just you know some people were into some weird stuff at the end of the day. You know, obviously I'm simplifying it, but it doesn't. It's not a particularly enthralling kind of like plot or anything like that. The other thing I would say, I think the acting, with the exception of our lead, is, is quite weak um, from at least some of the cast. Uh, 
so again it's kind of like you know a, a somewhat of a generic slow moving story without a lot of surprises without a lot of visual flair with actors that you know aren't the best a lot of the time um so ultimately it's it's somewhat of a weak film although I, I do think there's certain people who may enjoy this but overall it was just kind of like you know it's, it was kind of okay but ultimately it was a little bit dull and I went you know I was kind of like oh when's this ending you know um, it didn't really hold my interest. I didn't think the central mystery was particularly enthralling and there's not a lot going on on screen. Uh, so I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment. I know you shall look forward to it next time. Bye for now.